All right, it's working now. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, so how's everything? Good. Busy. And you? Fine, thank you. Yeah? You, when do you move? Uh, the end of the month. Uh -huh. um, everything is okay in the meantime? Yeah. Good. Going good. good. It's a little hard a uh, week or two ago, but everything cleared up. We're getting our insurance and so forth and so on. So, um, yeah, anyway, last week you were telling me that Uncle Danny rescued you or saved your life? No, Uncle Frank. Can I just get my right pen? Hang on one second. No, right. You know, I really wish you'd help me out with this pen situation. I, I really, I cannot get a, a, an ink pen to work properly. Well, I've been using a Schaefer Italic, fine. Schaefer Italic? Yeah, costs three dollars. Why do you say Italic? Because it has a uh, broader point. No, why do you say Italic instead of Italic? I think it's Italic. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Southern, the way. Italian, <laughs> in the South. Yeah, really. Do they think of you as an Italian? Probably. You don't hear the word, then. Huh? You don't hear them say it. No, they... The Davises used to say that. I'm sure they did. Um, no, they can't get past uh, Blinstrup. Yeah. So that's about as far as we end up talking. But, uh, so anyway, I got my right pen now. Okay, I'm looking up italic. Uncle Frank. Yeah, it's italic. Really? I never heard it. Ever. But it's not Italian. It's not Italian. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hate this dictionary. Which one is it? Webster's Collegial. Yeah, I don't like those either. I still use the one that you gave me in England. Now that's a good dictionary. I gave you another one. I know you gave. I use that too. I use the big one, but I also use the one that you gave me from England. Who's that? Huh? It's a. I can't, I think it's called a Chambers. Yeah, Chambers dictionary, but it's 19. You know, circa England 1964. So it's still in touch with the Elizabethan world a little bit. The pre beetle era, era. You know, it, it is italic. Italic? Italic, is absolutely yeah. correct. Thank That's you. what I thought. Yeah, well, thank you. I mean, now that you make me think about it, I, it kind of throws me off, but. It... No, of course it's italic. Why have I been saying italic all these years? <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. Okay, Uncle Frank. Yeah. Uncle Frank had been a, uh, like all the brothers, he played an instrument. He had played trombone and baritone, I believe, baritone horn, like a small tuba. And um, he had fall, he'd fallen bad times during the Depression. He'd been very rich during the 20s and had a big home in Highland Park and was married to Aunt Margaret, who was a real lady from Indiana and <clears throat> not Italian or in any way uh, foreign in the way that uh, my grandparents were, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she was the daughter of Edward K. Williams, the Brown County, Brown County painter, about mm -hmm. I told you. Yeah, I got that in the first interview. Yeah. And uh, anyway, he fell in bad times, and he was in the 30s trying to sell real estate, which was not very easy, and he was being helped along by Uncle George and Uncle Rocco. And uh, he, uh, he had a lot of free time, and he was very good to me and spent a lot of time with me and encouraged me to play, and my father would say, I'm kind of worried about Billy, and Uncle Frank would say, well... He's wet behind the ears, but he's young, Bill. And uh, he gave me all the breaks that uh, that other people 
didn't or couldn't because they were too busy or mean like Uncle George had been. Um, so it was very nice. Would you say Papa, uh, you know, our Pap, you know, my, my Bill was, uh, was he busy or was he mean? He was busy and, he, you know, men weren't into being parents so much in those days. Mm-hmm. I mean, they didn't know about it. I barely knew about it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, he didn't have time, and I, 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 I suspect he was brought up roughly. Papa? Yeah. Uh-huh. That he, uh, didn't get a lot of affection and attention as a young man, as a boy. Because there were too many of them, A and B, because, uh, it was a different world. You just, you know, you had to make a living. Give me, give me some ser- sort of feeling about what, what uh, your grandfather Russo would be like. I have no idea. I mean, just guess. Now we know he was blonde. That's about all I know. He was blonde. And and he played an instrument, right? Hmm. He was a he was a professional musician. Yeah, he played violin. And uh, he, uh, I don't know. Do we have even a single... No, he looks like a very mild-mannered person, but I don't know how those boys got to be so tough. There's not a single little story that we have about him? No. Really? Yeah. 